let's talk about simplifying with radicals. With expressions with radicals, you always simplify the radical first. Before reducing with fractions, be sure to factor first. Once again, you can't divide out terms, but you can divide out factors, and that's why it's very important to factor before you reduce your fraction. In example one, we have 15 plus the square root of 175 divided by 10. Before we go any further, we have to simplify the square root of 175. 175 is divisible by 5 to get 35. It's divisible by 5 again to get 7. Divide 7 by 7 to get 1, and now we know the prime factors of 175. It's 5 to the second times 7. Let's go ahead and rewrite our fraction with this in mind. Now that we know what the prime factors of 175 are, we can simplify this radical. Now that we've simplified the radical, we can look at the terms in the numerator and determine what the common factor is so we can reduce our fraction. Remember, we always must factor the terms in the numerator before we can reduce our fraction. 5 is the common factor between 15 and 5 root 7. We're left with 3 plus root 7 inside parentheses all over 10. I can now divide out the common factor, which is 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, 10 divided by 5 is 2. Now that I've reduced my fraction, I can rewrite it in reduced form. 3 plus root 7 all over 2. Moving on to example 2, we need to figure out and simplify the square root of 48 before we can do any reducing of the fraction as a whole. We need to prime factor 48. Let's go ahead and divide by 2 to get 24, divide by 2 again to get 12, and 2 again to get 6, divide by 2 again to get 3, divide by 3 to get 1. So the prime factors of 48 are 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3. Now that we know what the prime factors of 48 are, let's go ahead and rewrite our fraction with this in mind. Now that we know what the prime factors are and they're written inside the radical, let's bring out any of those pieces that we can to simplify the radical further. The exponent of 4 divided by the index of 2 gives us 2 with 0 remainder. 3 is prime and so we have to leave that inside the radical. Again, it's all over 6 still, and we can rewrite this as 8 minus 4 root 3 all over 6. 
At this point, we can now look at our two terms in the numerator and ask ourselves what the common factor is. The common factor is most definitely 4, and we're left with 2 minus root 3 all over 6. Now I can reduce the common factor of 2 in both the numerator and the denominator. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now that I've reduced, I can rewrite the answer as 2 times 2 minus root 3 all over 3. And that is this fraction in its most simplified form.